Have you ever ended your hypnosis session and went, oh my God, I am not really sure if my client got the results and that there's just that uncomfortable feeling like right at the pit of your stomach and you're like, I don't know, I don't know if my client got exactly what they needed. And that is quite a normal um, feeling. It's actually quite common. And a lot of hypnotherapists, especially the ones uh, who are trained in the traditional methods, and that was me before, uh, definitely had that have that feeling of I'm not really sure if it worked. And um, we need to talk about this because this is very important not only for our stress levels, but also, of course, for our clients' results. Um, nothing is more stressful and nothing makes us feel more like more shitty about ourselves um, if we have this uncertainty that our session worked. And so what I'm going to talk about is this concept called hypnotic testing. And it's actually crazy that this is not um, taught traditionally. I wasn't taught this. Uh, the traditional method I was taught was to do the hypnosis, um, go through A, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and at the end say bye-bye client after the client, uh, after their session, fingers crossed. Um, and this not only is not a good experience for us as practitioners, it's also not good for the client because, you know, at the end, especially what I did, my client was relaxed. Um, but that was like, that was it, right? You know, we've gone through massages before, like if you've had a massage and it was very relaxing, um, say maybe you had like tight shoulders or it's a sore back or neck, and then it felt better afterwards after the massage but we you know and it's good for like 24 hours and then you're like it's done it it almost feels that way and so this is why we need something like hypnotic testing and this is really really super simple and I remember one of my sessions um it was a client who wanted to reduce the amount of alcohol that she was drinking and throughout the session we had you know we know that it's not really the drinking right and so we had explored a lot of good things uh, in her life and a lot of her patterns. And she did have a breakthrough there, but I wasn't sure if she actually was going to stop drinking. And fact of the matter is she didn't. Um, she was still happy because it was a good experience for her. Um, but it still felt like I still felt really bad uh, that the result wasn't there. Um, and that was because I didn't know how to test. That was because I was not taught, right? And so um, that feeling of um, guilt, almost, uh, of guilt that the session could have been better would have been relieved had I known to test. And so that's why I'm sharing with you a very, very simple method uh, that you can use. Uh, right now, the hypnotic testing method is called the 3S testing strategy. And we look through the three different things within our sessions, but I'll give you one thing today um, so that you can take action on this today. The first S of the hypnotic testing strategy is the situational testing. And so what testing is in general is really to add resilience and robustness to our clients' breakthroughs. This is quite simple, right? Where when we uh, go to school, where when we went to school to test our knowledge and the material, we got tested. We may or may not agree with those things anymore, but in our client sessions, it just makes sense to test, right? Why wouldn't we, especially if our client goes to us, comes to us for a result, why would we not test to see if they got the result? That is really the, at the most simple explanation what the point of testing is. And so the first one is situational. Using the exa same example I had with that client, I really could have asked just about the, uh, after the session, about how she felt about the drinking, right? That's it. Done the session. And at the end, I could have just been like, hey, uh, Jane Doe, how do you feel now about drinking wine? That could have been a very simple question that I asked at the end uh, in order for me to gain clarity as to how she felt about the situation. And that really would have eased the anxiety and stress that I felt afterwards, um, because the answer to that question would have given me and her a uh, confirmation uh, about it. And there's a lot of neuroscience actually with regards to testing um, that we can talk about another day. But um, this 
this video is for you to take action today. What testing question can you ask your client? What is your niche? What is the um, presenting problem that you are an expert at? And so if it's drinking, like you can have different scenarios based on your expertise as to what the common themes are. Obviously, each client is going to be very specific and you want to tailor that in. But a simple example is just that, how do you feel now about drinking? How do you feel now about wine or whiskey or whatever their um, drink of choice was? And then that uh, is really what's going to help you gain clarity on where the client is at with regards to their problem. So super duper simple. Let me know what your niche is and what question you would ask in the comments below. Because once you really get um, good at this, this is when you'll start feeling more confident to end your sessions. Because of course, if your client says, yes, um, I feel really good, I don't wanna drink anymore, then that's good news to you because you've done the great work. Uh, and if they say no, then you get to work on your client um, or work with your client more. And so if this 3S testing strategy is, um, is intriguing to you, and if you are someone who's committed to solid, consistent results and you want to stop stressing about whether or not your sessions work, comment 3S testing below and I'll send you details to help you out even further.